Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is and I did this tutorial today and it's the best that I can remember and I always get kind of nervous when I have to do a look that I've done before because I don't really remember everything so I just tried to do it the best that I could so um, hang okay, on so the I'll first right thing back. that I do that I find is important is if I'm if it's the weekend and I can just wash my face and then go right into putting on my makeup I don't need to do this but on a day-to-day -day basis what I do is get up in the mornings and wash my face brush my teeth and I put on my eye cream and I put on my so I do those things and then I take both kids I take Will to school come back I take Brooke to school come back and sometimes I go right into putting on my makeup. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I go to bed, back to bed for a little while because if I, get I up don't really get early. to put on my makeup right away, what I do is I like to take just a wet washcloth and just wash my face real good, you know, and just kind of do like this. And then what I also do is go over my lips real good because that eight hour cream has been on and I'm kind of exfoliating my lips. And I get around my nose, all the places that have probably gotten oily, but this is just water. And just kind of get that main, you know, coating of, I don't know, if you have combo skin, you know what I mean, how your T-zone will start to kind of get oily. And I'm even kind of not really concentrating under my eyes, but I'm taking off any of that excess eye cream that didn't soak in in the last, you know, because by this time it's been an hour and a half. Let's see, it's probably been 7.30, 8.30. Yeah, it's been about an hour or an hour and a half. So I do that and that leaves what I think is important for the whole process. And I think that's what got me messed up, you know, a couple months ago when I couldn't figure out why my Rachel K and why all the things that I had been loving weren't working is because I had incorporated a lot of new skincare into my mornings. And really, I don't need any skincare in the mornings. What I do is at night, that's when I do my skincare. I do my Rafisa um, or any, you know, anything else I need to do. I do it at night. And so in the morning, I go straight to, and for some reason, this works the best. The first thing I put on is my Giorgio Armani Master Corrector. And I put it under my eyes in those little dark areas. And I figured what I would try to do today is the look that I did on Friday. Um, I liked it and you guys liked it. And um, it was based off of Charlotte Tilbury's Bigger, Brighter Eyes. And of course, I kind of modified it to me. Okay, you can see I've had some breakouts on my cheeks. And so I'm not sure if I've got rosacea or what it is, if it's still linked to that perioral dermatitis or whatever. Um, and sometimes I even do take a little bit more of this because this kind of counteracts that redness. And then I go straight into my Rachel K. And I can use the fair or the neutral. I've got some that from a long time ago that I've been using and just trying to use up. So I have an old bottle of fair that I'm almost finished with. But um, most everyone can use the neutral. I mean, I can't imagine anybody. The only reason I use the fair over this is sometimes if I want to just to have a little bit of brightening. But really, there's not a bunch of difference. And um, so I just start with a little bit. And I really, I, I mean, I put it on kind of like skincare. And it is. It has all of my, um, it has skin lightening ingredients. It has major SPF, I think 30 or something like that. So it's moisturizing, whitening, nourishing, anti-wrinkle, collagen enriched, um, non-comedogenic, smudge proof, and waterproof. And it is. I mean, I have worn this, okay, and I make sure, I don't want to talk too much, I make sure that I get this in my T-zone really well, especially like right here in all these places that I have pores and then right here on my nose and then especially right here all the places that I notice my makeup kind of breaking up throughout the day or just not looking pretty what happens okay. is you will feel that it just there's something about it going on top of fresh skin that is so much better than going on top of 
anything else and it acts as your primer and in your skincare and it just creates the prettiest base and you can see that it's not it doesn't cover everything but it gives you a little bit of coverage and see how it kind of blanked out a lot of that redness and it just creates a perfect base for you to start with okay from there i love rachel the k Mercier. and classic beige so i have gone back to that and um so what i do is put a generous amount in the lid and because this is all i'm going to use as my foundation i try to sprinkle it out even evenly and then i use my sephora airbrush 55 now this is the older model but the new one works just as well this is just one that's good and seasoned you can see how dirty it is i need to wash all of my brushes so they're not going to be pretty and clean today i hate washing this brush because it's never the same i mean for a while for a good 10 uses so i really don't cannot use a brush like oh gosh like that f80 from sigma or any of those brushes like that they're just not the same you need a good you need some movement and but yet you still need it dense enough denser than a powder brush or something so this is perfect and you need you do like this and kind of break up any of the you know big pieces or whatever and then get a good amount on the end of your brush because you're not dusting you're going to be buffing this in and what I do is I always start where I need the most coverage, which is my cheeks. And I try to start back here so that if it does, it's not going to stick to this because this is dried. But if it does go on darker, this is the place I would want it darker in my contour. So I start right here. And as soon as I see that I've got it on, then I start working it in. And I usually go. And the reason I do that funny face, I'm going to do plenty of funny faces, is you want to get all of your wrinkles and pores and everything kind of spread out and you want to work this into them and just make sure you get a good coverage and then when i know that you know most of it's come off the brush then i start going you know and working working it out a little bit so you can see that already and then i sometimes i'll shake the thing like this to you know spread it out evenly again put my brush get a good amount on there and then tap off the crazy excess and I'll go right in that spot that's kind of bad and then I might swing around and then see how I'm still going up under my eyes around my mouth and you kind of just have to keep you're going to spend a little bit more time on this than you would if you were just dusting this over your foundation because I mean, just look at, you're not spending the time on your um, foundation. Sorry, I've got all these little hairs sticking out. And um, so, and you just want to keep on and keep on kind of working it in. And get in between your eyes. And then always, I, every time I tap or do my brush in the powder, I always finish out like down my neck. Because I don't want to put a lot down my neck, but I want to okay, make so it that's match. The, side with it and then that's without okay so then I just do the same thing on the other side and depending on how long this video is we'll be if I cut this out or not I'm gonna try to leave all of the I want this to mainly be about this because I know some of you it's not that I think everybody's gonna like the Rachel K it's just I want everybody to experience this and if you don't like it well then you don't like it but I want you to know how well it works for me and then you go under your eyes. Okay. Kind of spread it out again. And you'll see. And don't worry about it being powdery looking or anything right now. And don't. I try not to worry about it being just perfection because you got to remember you're going to add some blush and you're going to add some bronzer and if you like highlight with this you don't really need highlight because it's going to be so glowy in the end but um so i try to just remember you know this isn't it and you know 
a lot more is going to be a over the What you'll the notice other. too is that I haven't put any more lip conditioner or anything on my lips because I find if I put something on them, you know, right when I start doing my makeup, within well, my lip liner and my lip products don't go on as well. But they're, you know, they're in pretty good shape because I wore it last night and I wore it this morning and I just okay. Kind of before it I, off. usually I go right to my bronzer, but the other day I wanted to use. I wanted a pink blush and I wanted to use one of my new sleek palettes that Frankie sent me. So I used this one which is the Blush by 3 Sweet Cheeks and it's beautiful and it comes with a cream, kind of like a frosty highlight and then you know the one right here that's just like a, I can't say it's a matte, it's kind of like a satin. So the first thing I do is put a little bit on my cheeks or on my <laughs> finger that this is the cream blush and I was a little scared of it but it's it works. It spreads out real well and I put that right on my cheeks and I usually don't come any further in and I go up a little bit but I don't come any further in with this than the backs of my cheeks and I'm going right on that cheekbone like that I mean I want you to be able to see it a little bit from the front but I'm not coming down or up under my eyes or anything and you can see how well that blended in right over this powder Okay, I'm going to put a little bit, and I know some people like the 187 and all that. I find that my finger, just keeping on patting it in, does the best with me. And I like this, I like to do this before my bronzer to keep it from, you don't want too many layers on this stuff, okay? And so that is that. And then, let's see, let me wipe this off my finger. Then I went in with my bronzer, which I have just been loving, the Golden Light by Bobbi Brown. You can see, I don't know if you can see, I almost hit pan. And out of all my bronzer brushes, I always go for my Bobbi Brown. And I just get a little bit on the end, and I want to go right under that, like that just to create that contour. And then I'm gonna do my hairline because no matter what you do, you need to put some kind of contour or bronzer just right around your hairline just to kind of help frame your face. And you can see the center of my face. The center of my face always comes out because I have a long thin face, but you know what I mean. It's like, starts highlighting the center of your face. I never do any specific highlighting down the center I just think but by the time I contour and do my stuff on the edges it just kind of comes out and then I forgot this in my last tutorial and it just killed me because I love to do the jawline I do it all up under here and then I work down like that I don't know if you can see the difference but and I like for a little bit to even show just right there And then go down and see, then you'll see this will start looking brighter like that. Okay, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do. You can put the rest right there for bronzer. So that's all I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to take this. I love this brush. For just, if I just want to pat on a brush, I like the Bobbi Brown. But this Sedona Lace brush, the 850. If I want to like really buff in a color or I don't know, I really want to just work it in and anyway, I like this, this brush. So I'm going to take this mid-tone kind of highlight color and put it just right here on the top of those cheeks. And you can even bring it like to right here, you know, the corner of your eye. And then I'm going to take it in this dangerously pigmented color like this. Just pat it in there and go right here and really work that in like that. Sometimes I even go up here on the temples just to kind of tie it all together and brighten it up up there. Okay, so that's my This cheeks. is one of the most important parts of the whole Rachel K. Laura Mercier combination. And it's Fix Plus. I'm going to do the whole thing for you. Fix Plus Matter. I always go back to this. And it's just the MAC Fix Plus. And I spray a lot on. You don't have to. 
But what I do is I immediately hit it with the warm hair in the hair dryer. So here we go. And I don't know how many squirts I do. It's, and it's not full squirts, it's just a bunch of little ones. So I just make sure I get every little section, especially like around my chin. Okay, once I feel like my whole face is good and wet, then I do my blow dryer. And it's on warm. So that is kind of like drying everything. And it just takes all those powders and kind of puts them all together. And I feel like it almost bakes them into your skin. And it gives you the prettiest glow. And I really hope that it comes off okay, and you'll feel on camera when it's done and I hope you can see just how pretty it is I mean it's taken just everything and put it together and just my skin has just the dewiest not shiny but dewiest glow and it just looks like skin there's no you know lines of where one thing begins and one thing and ends and so um, I won't do any powder again until the end of the of the time I'm getting ready okay I'm gonna go ahead and put on um, Soft ochre paint pot. This and painterly, but I think soft ochre kind of brightens me up a little bit more. And I put it all over. I make sure I get it on the inside of my eye. Never neglect this part. For years, I didn't know what to do with that until um, a friend of mine that was a makeup artist um, years ago before YouTube told me to highlight that section. Next thing I'm gonna do is lips. And I had someone say last time they were surprised that I did lips, you know, before my eyes. But I, I have a silly reason for doing it, and it's just because if I don't like, that gives me time to see how I feel about the lip combination. And um, you'll see what happened the other day, matter of fact. But, and then if I don't like it, I take it off. I do not leave the house without liking my lip combination because it will just, I don't know, that's just important to me. Okay, so the other day I used this for the first time. It is the Fuchsia, that's the name of it, Lancome Lip Pencil. Make sure that it's very sharp, and this is how I line my lips. I go right on the edge, and this is why I like the sharpening ones instead of the roll-up, because I like to get that good sharp point. I start on the end. The reason I do that is because I find, one reason my mom does it that way, and so that's what I always saw when I was little, and that's what I do naturally, but it gives you a much prettier arch. Now, if you have, see, I don't have a whole lot of a Cupid's bow. If you have more, then maybe you need to do it a different way. But with me, this works best, and it helps me get my lips even. And I kind of hold my lip and kind of spread it out so it can get in all those lines and everything. And sometimes I do accidentally go over. Okay, and then I go right to the corner. And I just try to go, you can see that little, you can see the line right there and it's not necessarily pigmented, but I go right on, that's the edge of my lip. This is what I did the other day. Now, if you want to fill your lips in with this, that would be beautiful. But initially the other day, what I was gonna do is wear this, which is the YSL. It's, I've had, this is probably my second or third one. Um, it's, I'm not sure of the color, but it's number 17. It's one of my favorites. And so it's a lip stain. And I did a whole lip. I can remember thinking when I put this on, oh, this isn't going to be good. You know, I certainly didn't want this much difference in my lipstick and my lip liner. So what I did, it, I really made sure this, you know, I was trying my best to make it work. And I kept this on for a few minutes. So I, this is not what I'm going to end up with, but I'm going to do it now because I kind of want to make sure I create the same look. And I want to give... Show Orchid, I'm gonna try Show Orchid instead of Cocoa Pink because Cocoa Pink 
from Chanel is discontinued and I wanted to find something that you guys could get easily and um, this is a beautiful color. I want to give this and so you know an equal shot as to the other one. I didn't want to I want to compare it exactly. Okay so the other day I had just watched Charlotte Tilbury use her the Sophisticate palette. This palette is phenomenal. I can't say a negative thing about it. It's right up there with the Tom Ford palette. If you ask me which one to get, it would just depend on if you wanted this darker, like more of a stone color in it, because the Tom Ford palette doesn't have, you know, a cool tone like this or a cooler gray tone. This palette is wonderful. So, um, what she did the other day, and I cannot remember if I did my liner first. I think I did. I think I did my liner first like she did. And this scares the you know what out of me because I haven't done this liner on camera before, I don't think. But this is the Wet n Wild Black. Not the shiny black, but the other one. I love but it because it dries I usually do matte. With this, I try to avoid my eyelashes because I hate getting this liner in my eyelashes. First thing I do is just concentrate on getting this liner. Okay, it's going to be easier, I think, for me to do it up here. Um, I concentrate on getting it down into my lashes and I come right down to that tear duct and you know get a good decent line like that first then I dip it again and wipe it off and I imagine this line coming up to where my crease color would begin and I go ahead and mark a line and then carry it down like that and this is not going to end up well see normally I wouldn't have messed that up but being out here now I'm going to and then I carry it across to this line and connect it like that and then worry about filling it in and perfecting it a lot of times what I like to do is I'll come up from this end of my eyelid and then put that point on there and then fill in that little area too okay so there we go okay let me try to do this other one if if it goes crazy I might cut this out but I'll try okay come in close as you can to the lashes for the first Go around and then I imagine I imagine this coming up and I you know connect it to the end of the crease color and I go down like that let me get plenty on my brush maybe that messed me up and then I go over and meet up And then to fill this in like that okay and then you can look at both eyes and you can tell what you need to do like right now I need to kind of just even this out like that and I'm not going to worry today about them looking perfect and matching perfectly I say that then I go right over here like that okay and this dries I love the way it dries matte and it dries pretty quickly then I'm gonna come up from the very end of this lid and connect to this like that like that looks like I need to do that some more over here yeah that's what that was missing that really does help with the wing liner is to be today I'm to gonna put on um, false lashes like I did on Friday I'm kind of excited about it okay then what you do okay let's do the bottom liner too and so the other day I used this which is the Smashbox always sharp waterproof coal liner in Raven which is black and the concept is every time you twist this on or off it gives you a sharp point and so I just did it really really just in 
the roots of my lashes. Just does not take much to be too much on me and start dragging me down. Um, matter of fact, I just found this. I'd been looking for it, but um, on the inside, use either any kind of light liner that you want. So I'm going to use this. I thought this might show up better today. And this is the Stila Tail. Um, and I am going to do the shadow. So you can see it looks pretty even without, so you can't go wrong really. So I'm going to go in out. this. It's a 217. I'm going to go in this. Um, I can't remember what she calls it. Define maybe shadow. It's the crease color. And I like to go straight from the end of my wing right on that brow bone and I like to go all the way in like that and you'll see how pretty and easy and keep in mind I do not have any base shadow down I just have that um, soft ochre paint pot you know it has had time to really dry because I did my liner and see I like the fact that now I have a guide from that wing okay and so once you've worked this in now your lids are supposed to look like that you know they're supposed to look open and your eyes are supposed to look bright so you're just putting enough of this in there to emphasize like that okay and then i thought this was oh okay and then she wants she said for you to put that both of these colors on the bottom this is that too. little louise young brush i love this brush the ly 13 it's the coolest little brush. You can do so much with it. Um, so I'm going to put it in the lighter color first and kind of just smudge out that line a little bit. Here, this is actually okay. the Sigma SS224. It's an old one. And then you go into that, um, I think it might be the pop. Yeah, four is pop. So enhance and pop. So I just dab the end of my brush in that. And then you, she said just to kind of shade this outer corner with that color. And that gives you, see how it just does that little corner so good. And notice how easily these are blending on each other and with no real like shadow base or anything. Okay, you think that's enough? I'm going to put just a little bit more over here. And she said to bring it down into that corner, too. I remember that now. Okay. Okay, like that. And then take that same color on that little brush and do it just right on the edge. Okay. And then the last step she did was taking this light color... She might have done this before now, but I'm going to do it now. And then go right in here and just kind of open that up a little bit and just brighten it. I didn't put anything on my lid. And I'm going to put just the slightest bit like right up here on the tip top of my brow. And that's optional. You don't have to do that. But I think it helps with the. I can't remember what part. I used the other day. I should have looked it up. But I think I used one of these Brow Wiz pencils. And this one is Ash Blonde. I should have looked it up. And I'm so glad I write now what I, you know, what I'm glad I always have put down what I'm using because I use it a lot too. So I just usually brush them up and shape them. And then I try, if I don't get carried away, to just kind of. Fill, it, fill in under here and fill in this front part and I really try to go in like curve type strokes like that and round out my brow and then I take this top and kind of extend it like that. Let me do, do just a little bit more up here. I might have done a little bit too much right here, but I can um, always fix it with the brush. Okay, so I've got that. And this one just wants to dip up more than the other one, so sometimes I kind of... I 
I like all those pomades and powders and everything, but these pencils are just so easy. Okay, I'm trying to fill in that little spot right there. Okay. There, did I do? I didn't do enough right here. Sorry, I know you hear that airplane going by. Okay, and now take the other end and just kind of brush them up and out and that takes away that harsh line. I need to do something about this lipstick because it's crazy. And I think by now, the other day, I, I knew it was crazy too. So I took, I think I took toilet paper, but what I'm gonna do is blot it. Not rub it, but just blot it. And so it ended up like that. And then I thought, well, I'm gonna try. I remember I love how much I love cocoa pink. So here comes the show orchid. It's gorgeous. And like that. Okay, it's looking like this has more, this is not as sheer. It's got more pigment. Let's see, what is, oh, it's amplified. That's why, because the um, Chanel was a little bit more of a sheer color, but isn't that still gorgeous? And I will still work it in your lips, work it in all those lines, if you have them like me. And then I would just blot one time. I wouldn't try to get a bunch of it off because it didn't go in anywhere. You can tell it's really stuck to my lips. I don't know how that compares to you, to the, I still like the Chanel, but I wanted something, you know, something similar for you to try. Okay, now, gosh, I'm all over the place. Um, I'm gonna go over my brows with a little bit of the blonde and, um, brow gel. This has gotten kind of yuck because you know they get mixed up with your brow pencil. So it's not as blonde as it used to be. And that's how I like it. The lashes I'm going to use are a recommendation of my friend Gina, and she swears she likes these better than the other ones that we loved, which are the 120S. And my lashes are pretty daggone good now because of the new lash, but sometimes some looks just look better with lashes, and they're just fun. So, so let's wait and these. see how that um, glue dries. If it dries, I think I'm probably going to go over it again with my liner just to make sure it doesn't dry it's sparkly. But until then, what I'm gonna do is this, which is the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Radiant Rose. I've got Light Boost, but I still like this one better. And I just like to put a little bit, like right there and right there. Don't put too much because I do that all the time, not paying attention, and it, I get too much of a contrast. But if you'll just do it right there and then maybe carry it just in that darkness right there. It just gives you a little bit of, I'm not looking for a big Kim Kardashian highlight underneath. And then this has been one of my favorite things. This is the Rachel K CC Renew Light. And it's not really light. Um, it's a, just a beautiful color, good skin tone color. They have an extra light and then they have a medium, which is a really good little matte warm color. 165. And this powder is so neat. It's um, got, it's if you have dry skin, you would like this better than the other Rachel K powder. This powder is not powdery. It is, it's got a lot of moisture in it. I don't know how to say that. It's just a, um, it's got a lot of good skincare stuff in it and it's just not powdery. And so I like to just kind of go under my eyes like that with it after I use whatever and then down my nose and just right up here in that t-zone and I've been using this instead of the all those HD powders and I like it it's not as um and then I, need, I usually need it right here you may not because you might not not have those lines but um, I just like how it, I don't know, I just feel like it gives a pretty look and it doesn't show wrinkles and creases and everything because it's not powdery. Okay, now let's do, I'm gonna do um, 
CoverGirl Lash Blast on the bottom because it does not transfer on and, me um, at all. I'm not crazy about these lashes. <laughs> Can you tell? But, um, okay, I'm going to go get dressed, put my hair down, and back. Right and there's back. a couple of things I want to do that I know I did this the other day that make to make these lips better is I like to a lot of times go over my lip combo after I've had it on for a few minutes with the liner again just to kind of perfect the edges so that's what I'm gonna do and See, and it just gives that perfect lip line. And I thought what I might do, this is just an experiment. I mean, you've seen what this looks like now. I'm gonna put a little bit of this stain just over the middle. And just, I think I'm gonna like it. It'll give it that more dimension. That little bit lighter in the center look. I love this color beautiful and I think I need a little bit more blush <laughs> you may not but I'm gonna put just a little bit more of the bright color I'm gonna just kind of do a little bit down right in here and bring it up like that Yeah, just give it a look, give me a little bit more color to go with. What do you think? Okay, I'll be Today, right back with my I'm outfit. I'm just wearing a t-shirt that I bought last year that I love. I love shirts that tie like that. And um, it's a stateside shirt. I think it's a division of Splendid. And um, it doesn't always stay, the knot stays center, but this stays like that, but who cares? And um, these are, you know, some of my favorite pants. They're the rich and skinny camo pants that I bought years ago. I my Pete and Manolo BBs um, to go with my lips and just to put a, you know, if I had like a brighter or a graphic tee, I probably wouldn't do that. But since my outfit, my top is simple, I just thought that, and I love green and pink anyway. And um, so these are the Manolo BBs, is the Below the Belt Twiggy that I'm crazy about. And I usually, I have not carried a bag on my shoulder in so long, but I love carrying it. I decided bags. not to wear any earrings. You can't really, I don't know. I need some really small gold. You know what? I've got my, I might put on my, I'll probably put on my CZ rhinestones. I just didn't want to put hoops on because I felt like with my lips and everything, I got a lot going on. And I've got on my Light My Fire match stick necklace. And you can see it has the rhinestones. And then on the side, it says Light My Fire. And I always hate wearing things if they're not available. But I just got these in. And I have them in silver, gold, and, and I haven't gold. seen this yet. It will come today before I post this video. But she made me a special necklace that's going to be in there. And um, so maybe I'll put a picture of it at the end of this video if I have it in time. If not, it'll be on my website tonight. But I'm excited and flattered and can't wait to see it. And um, nail polish needs a little sprucing up, but I did not feel like taking it off. And you know how like with dark polishes, you kind of like to wait until they've been on a few days and then they come off better around your cuticle and stuff. But I love this color. It is the Dior Blue Label. And um, the, other, oops, the other necklace is my Dean Davidson. I thought about putting the long um, other necklace on, but I thought it might be too much today. So, and then no bracelets or anything else. And I think that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I know my tutorials are all over the place, but um, I hope we had a good time visiting anyway. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.